Hello, everyone. Welcome to Storytime with Lorenzo. Our featured book today is Memoirs of a Hamster by Devin Cillian and illustrated by Tim Bowers. Creatively read and adapted by Lorenzo. Stay tuned for Spotlight Words. Exciting fun fact, lesson of the story, and knowledge check. Memoirs of a Hamster. Night one. My life is perfect. I have a bowl full of seeds, a cozy pile of wood shavings, and room to run. I'm never leaving here. Question. Who's the luckiest hamster in the world? Answer. Me. Night two. I was just telling myself, Seymour, you got it made when my exercise wheel was delivered. I like to work out. It's the best model around, the Fuzzy Boy 360, shiny as a new dime and fast as lightning. I don't know how many miles I put in, but I was on that wheel all night. Do you think Seymour's life is perfect? Night three. It took me a while to get the hang of my new water bottle, but it's great. It's important too. A hamster has to stay hydrated. Back to my wheel. I've got another hour to put in before daylight. Night four. Little girl came by and gave me a kiss on the nose. Nasty. Hello. Ever hear of germs? But she also gave me two yogurt drops. Question: What's better than a yogurt drop? Answer: Two yogurt drops. I ate one and tucked the other in my cheek to save for later. This hamster has it going on. Night five. I was just climbing onto my wheel tonight when Pearl the cat came by. You know, she said. You run for miles every night, but you never leave that cage. What's it all for? I don't know. I said, "It's what hamsters do." What a complete waste of time," she said. "Have fun in your cage. I'm going to the sunroom." Sunroom? What's a sunroom? Night six. Little girl woke me up to clean my cage today. She kissed me on the nose again. Barf! She needs to knock that off. But while she was carrying me around, I realized there's a lot of house around me that I haven't seen. It seems to go on forever. I tried as hard as I could, but I couldn't see a sunroom. Little girl gave me a yogurt drop, and I completely forgot about the sunroom. Whatever a sunroom is, is it better than a yogurt drop? Answer: No. Will Seymour ever find the mysterious sunroom? Night seven. I planned on running a marathon tonight, but my Fuzzy Boy 360 is a little squeaky. Pearl came over to the cage, looking a little annoyed. You really need to get yourself out of there, she said. But why? I asked. I've got my wheel. I've got my seeds. I've got yogurt drops. You wouldn't need a wheel out here," she said. "There's plenty of room to run. The staircase is made of sunflower seeds, and the sunroom is filled with yogurt drops." As she was walking away, she turned around and said, "Watch out for Hoover." Hoover? Who's Hoover? Night eight. I didn't sleep a wink all day. Little girl came by and kissed me on the nose. Yuck! And then I had a terrible workout. I just couldn't focus. How could I concentrate, knowing what I know? Imagine a whole staircase made of sunflower seeds and the sunroom. Don't I deserve to be in the sunroom? Buck the dog came by to give my cage a sniff, and I said, "Buck, do you like the sunroom?" 
big, goofy buck said, I love the sunroom. It's so sunny. And he trotted away. Night nine. No workout tonight. I spent the whole evening putting together a plan. I went over every square inch of my cage. And I think I've got it figured out. Operation Tasty Treat is set for tomorrow night. Hello, staircase. Hello, sunroom. What will happen to Seymour's escape plan? Night 10. Good old Seymour is one smart hamster. My escape went like clockwork. I moved the seed dish. Then I was able to muscle the fuzzy boy to the front of the cage. I had a little trouble climbing the outside of the wheel. It kept spinning, and I wasn't getting anywhere. But Sweet Pearl suggested, I jam a sunflower seed at the side of the wheel, and it worked. After that, it was easy. I shimmied up the wheel and popped the lid right off. Question. Who's going to eat every yogurt drop in the sunroom? Answer. Me. Night 11. Note to self. Cats are big fat liars. I'm writing this from under the sofa. One wrong move and Pearl will have me for dinner. For starters, the staircase is not made of sunflower seeds. It's just carpet. It tastes like a sweater. And the sunroom is nice, but there wasn't a yogurt drop in sight. And when I heard Pearl, the big fat liar, say, Hello, Seymour. I knew something was wrong. She looked really hungry. But all of that time on the wheel paid off. I raced past her and squeezed out of the sunroom just in time. I made it here, but now what? Pearl keeps clawing under the sofa. That big fat liar. I'll probably never see my cage again. Question. Who's in big trouble? Answer. Me. Can Seymour outsmart Pearl the cat? Night 12. I'm doomed. I'll never make it out of here alive. I can see Pearl pacing back and forth. She says she's looking up recipes. I tore a tag off the bottom of the sofa, found an old pencil, and wrote out my will. I, Seymour Q. Hamster, being of tired mind and hungry body. Leave my fuzzy boy 360 to my 17 brothers. I leave my water bottle to my 22 sisters. And to my sweet mother and father, I leave the four yogurt drops hidden in the corner of my cage. I won't be needing them. I sniffled a few times and fell asleep. Goodbye, friends. I love you all. Will Seymour make it back to safety? Night 13. So hungry and tired I could barely move. I heard Pearl purring the way she does when she sleeps. It was my only chance. I tiptoed out from the back of the sofa and headed straight for my cage. I was going to make it. But suddenly there was a terrible noise. It sounded like a hurricane. An enormous monster was coming right at me. I looked up at its terrible eyes and read the most frightening word. Hoover! It was trying to suck me inside. Buck heard the commotion and started barking like crazy. That woke up Pearl, the big fat liar, who hissed, He's mine! and started racing right toward me. Hoover had me by the tail. Pearl was swiping at me with her claws, and Buck was howling like mad. I was a goner. I closed my eyes and waited for it to be over. And then came the sweetest thing I've ever heard. Seymour! It was suddenly very quiet. Hoover, Pearl, and Buck stopped in their tracks. 
and one surprised but happy little girl got to me first. She kissed me on the nose, a lovely, beautiful, sweet kiss. And I kissed her right back. Twice. Night 14. My life is perfect. I have a bowl full of seeds, a cozy pile of wood shavings, and room to run. I'm never leaving here. Question. Who's the luckiest hamster in the world? Answer. Me. <coughs> Lesson of the story. The story teaches the importance of gratitude for what one has, while encouraging a healthy curiosity for the world around us. It's about the balance between curiosity and contentment. Through his adventures, Seymour learns to appreciate the security and comfort of his home, while also embracing the excitement of new experiences. Fun fact! Did you know that hamsters have a natural instinct to run? In the wild, they can travel several miles each night in search of food. This behavior translates to domesticated hamsters, who often run on hamster wheels as a form of exercise and mental stimulation. In fact, hamsters have been observed to run up to five to six miles per night on their wheels, showcasing their remarkable stamina and energy levels. So, next time you see a hamster spinning on its wheel, remember, it's not just a cute activity. It's a reflection of their natural instincts and need for physical activity. Did you find all the spotlight words? Shavings. The act of one that shaves. Something shaved off. Squeaky. Making or likely to make a shrill sound. Goofy. Crazy or silly. Sniffled. To sniff repeatedly. To speak with or as if with sniffling. Commotion. Irregular or violent motion. Knowledge check. And now it's time to start the quiz. Who is the story mostly about? An elf, a mouse, Patty the cat, or Seymour the hamster? The answer is Seymour the hamster. Who saved Seymour? A little girl, a dog, no one, or a cat? The answer is a little girl. Where does Seymour live? Underneath the couch, a nest, a cage, or the forest? The answer is a cage. How was Seymour saved? He runs away, the cat licks him, the little girl picks him up, or he hides under the sofa? The answer is the little girl picks him up. Let's see how you did. Yeah, you did a great job! The end. Please subscribe for more fun and exciting read aloud videos on Storytime with Lorenzo. Thanks for watching! If you like this video, like and subscribe.